Hi, I'm going to show you what I like about NB, a lot of things I like about the NB note-taking application. So I just wrote a little thing, a little R script, which um, I call addwaves.r, and it just demonstrates uh, spring deep cycles. That's all it is. If you're an oceanographer, you know what that is. And if not, it's just some R code. That's all that matters. So here's what I can do. <clears throat> I can pipe that into NB, A, and I'm going to give a name for the... Um, whatever the article, I don't even know what you call it, the thing that I'm adding, the item, I guess. And maybe I'll give addwaves.r. I mean, I think that's a pretty good name for it. So it says that it added it. If I do nb, um, you'll see it's in there. If I want to see what it looks like, I say nb. Oh, let me just go back a step here. Um, so it's number 15. So I can either say nb add waves and look at it or nb15. So I'm going to say nb15, s for show. And you'll see that, that it's there. It's also highlighted, highlighted, highlight. It's also used highlighting uh, to indicate that it's the R language. Pretty handy. So it works with piping. I didn't know that. I just tried it. I thought maybe it wouldn't work. Maybe it would go into an editor. But clearly, it recognizes that it's uh, um, being piped. And, uh, and so it doesn't go into the editor. So I didn't have to go and do insert mode and all that other stuff. That's it. Short video.